Hi guys, just wanted to show you really quick a new piece of active chat technology that we introduced recently to our on-premises and private cloud licenses. So this is a brand new on-premise installation that Ina did on this chatbot agency, beautiful domain. I will create a new account here. And here is my brand new bot that I just created. So let's test it out. I will try some small talk like, hi, who are you? And so on. Uh, so far, so good. Uh, the conversation is being handled uh, by the intense engine here. You can see these default small talk intents working pretty well. But let's try a more complicated question. Let's try something like, what are the direct losses uh, to production companies in Ukraine due to the war? And the result is pretty predictable. Sorry, I didn't quite get that and the live chat escalation here. So we didn't teach our bot how to respond to questions like this. Okay, now let's try to connect OpenAI. I will go to settings, integrations, OpenAI integration settings. The context seem to be pretty reasonable. And I'll paste my token here and choose GPT-4 model. Save the settings. And then I'll change the conversation design a little bit. I will go to the skills section and in the default skill, zoom in this in. You can see that currently we have this NLP block, which is handling the natural language understanding. Let's exchange this block with OpenAI block. I'll provide some error handling just in case. And then I'll pull another text block and display a technical variable, OpenAI message. Basically, that's all. If you check the settings for OpenAI block, we'll leave everything in the default mode, build the bot. A quick reminder, uh, it makes sense to wait a couple of minutes after you build the bot or update the knowledge base uh, or update the skill structure uh, to give some time uh, for the bot to absorb the information and uh, to switch to the new data sets. Okay, let's try the same question again. I will copy and paste this, hit enter. Now it definitely takes a bit longer, but let's see. According to a report released by the United Nations in 2019, the conflict in Ukraine has cost an estimated 1.3 billion in direct losses. Okay, we can see that the general information, again, is based on 2019. So it is not up to date. It's a general knowledge that is available to ChatGPT. Let's try and upload some knowledge to our bot. I'll go to the knowledge section and I'll add the file here that contains some data on war in Ukraine. And I'll click the update index button here. I'll go to the skills section again to run the bot. Again, I'll give the system a couple of minutes of waiting time to make sure that the changes are properly deployed across my cloud. And then I'll, I'll go to the OpenAI settings here and Instead of the default setting, I will switch this to knowledge. And you can see the QA template here, which provides a context for generating the response. Please do not remove this context and question parts, which are in these brackets here. They are important for this block to operate. 
Once I do this, again, around the bot, give it a couple of minutes, and then I will go to the conversation and I will restart the bot so that I can reset the context of the conversation. And let's check the same question again. What are the direct losses to production sector in Ukraine caused by the war? The response is shorter this time. The direct losses to the production sector in Ukraine caused by the war are estimated at 11.3 billion, so 10 billion more than it was in 2019. Let's check this information in the file that I have uploaded. This is a huge report prepared by the presidential office released in March 2023. And if we check the production sector in this report, we can see that the total direct losses of companies' assets are estimated at 11.3 billion. Pretty impressive, right? Let's try a couple of other questions. Let's say, what about agriculture? You can see my keyword has an issue. But anyway, as of February 2023, 8.7 billion. Let's check this in the file. Here it is. The amount of direct damages to the Ukrainian agro-industrial complex, 8.7 billion. Tourism. The question seems to be pretty challenging, right? It relies heavily on the context of the conversation. You can see the response is quite deep and has this number 2.2 billion as of September 1st. Let's check this here in the file. And we can see 2.2 billion. So actually, by using this new OpenAI block, which can be connected uh, to almost any large language model through our length chain integration. In under 15 minutes, we created a pretty powerful bot that absorbed a huge amount of information and uh, which is able to respond to questions based on that information properly. Again, following the context that we set up. And I believe that no matter which large language models uh, you guys are using, be it OpenAI so or AI21 or Llama or any other of uh, hundreds of different large language models that are available, Active Chat would always be a help. You'll be able to build complex conversations combining different technologies, natural language understanding, flow building, natural language generation uh, through large language models and so on, always being on the edge of the current conversational AI technology. All these new features are available in our new on-premise and uh, private cloud licenses, both in company and the developer plans. And actually, you can play around with it yourself by going to App Chatbot Agency, creating your own account and uploading some of your own data. Thank you for watching. Stay cool. See you soon.